G'day. Greetings from uh, Florida. I'm uh, over here visiting some family uh, in St Augustine for a few months and um, I, uh, I have a chance to have a look at uh, what is purportedly one of the world's great newspapers of record, the, uh, the New York Times. Uh, here's the paper from yesterday which um, has a front page devoted to the revelations um, call it revelations, uh, belated revelations of uh, things that the nasty, horrible CIA was doing to uh, uh, keep Americans safe in the wake of the 9-11 attacks. The uh, coverage goes over to uh, uh, another s approximately six full pages of the New York, the New York Times, um, all of which uh, bags the CIA and bags the Bush administration uh, and um, just makes America look like shit. Um, uh, and it's very convenient for the Democrats because they've just lost uh, their uh, majority in the, uh, in the Senate. And uh, so Republicans now have the majority in both the uh, House of Representatives and the Senate from uh, early next month, uh, or it might even be later this month. Uh, but um, uh, the, the motto of the New York Times is all the news that's fit to print. print. Now, of course, what it should say is all the lefty news that's fit to print. Uh, and of interest to Aussies is uh, this article over on page A8, which of course talks about climate change, with compromises a global accord to fight climate change is in sight. And uh, they're, they're reporting on the, uh, uh, the big um, trough fest in uh, Lima, Peru, uh, where purported diplomats uh, have flown in from all uh, points of the, the globe to, uh, at, at um, great cost to the environment, of course, to uh, talk about um, the so-called uh, climate change uh, issue. But of interest to me was uh, a little story that um, even Australia gets a mention. While many major developing economies are now expected to follow China's lead in preparing emissions plans, some countries remain wildcards. This year, the Government of Australia repealed a landmark climate change law that taxed carbon pollution. Since then, its emissions have soared. Were you aware of this, uh, that Australia's emissions have uh, soared since the, uh, the Senate voted to uh, repeal the carbon tax? I wasn't aware of it. Maybe you can find some evidence. Uh, maybe. Maybe the New York fucking Times has some evidence of it, of it but uh, I haven't seen any. They do go on to say Australia is left without any viable policy to cut emissions, said Senator Christine Milne, the leader of the Australian opposition Green Party. It's going to drag its heels. There you go, all the lefty news that's fit to print. Um, Another story that got a minor run in the New York Times yesterday was the appearance of uh, economist Jonathan Gruber uh, before a uh, House of Representatives committee that uh, was investigating his videoed comments uh, over recent years uh, saying that the only reason that the Affordable Care Act uh, was passed into law uh, in America uh, was because of the stupidity of American voters. Now, you may remember uh, that uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi, uh, a Democrat uh, um, headliner, uh, is famous for one saying that um, we had to pass the law so you could find out what was in it. Well, apparently a lot of people are now finding out what was going on behind the scenes and uh, it's not a pretty picture. Uh, they had to make the law, according to Gruber, they had to make the law as convoluted as possible so that uh, the Congressional Budget Office wouldn't realise that there were actually tax implications and, uh, in the mandates. And uh, this threatens actually to bring the whole ACA down um, uh, in consequence of a current uh, Supreme Court challenge. Uh, more on this to come. But it's interesting that uh, the, um, the CIA matter got extensive front page coverage uh, and then extended through to five or six pages further in the newspaper. Uh, climate change got a, a reference on A8 with um, reference to how shit Australia is uh, currently in relation to uh, the purported
reported climate change issue. And Gruber uh, did actually get a mention in a tiny column on page 20 in the front news section of the paper. So uh, all the lefty, lefty news is fit to print. Talk to you later.